Let us see how to create a simple Python project and the Python module. Click on File, New, Project. Choose Python development. So it will be shown like this. Click on that. Then PyDev project. Click on Next. You can have a project name. You can have, you can have a, a grammar version, choose the grammar version between 3 and 3.5 and uh, this time I already have configured uh, the interpreter. Uh, for the first time, it does not show the interpreter configuration here. So you'll have to choose the config. If you click on this, it will open up uh, a message. It will ask you, will have a configuration like manual configuration, auto configuration. You can choose auto configuration. Then if, if you're done with it, then you're good to go. Click next right and finish so now it will take take you uh, take us to a pydev perspective so if you look at this this is a perspective this is here it's a right currently it is in the java perspective now we are trying to move to the pydev the environment the uh, related uh, files all that will be changed to a pydev environment so since we are creating a Python project for the first time, it will ask us because we are moving from Java by default, we are in a Java perspective. So we are moving from a Java perspective to Python perspective. So click on open perspective. This is how it will look like. All you need to do is right click on it, new, click on Python module. So let's see what is Python uh, package and all that a little later. So right now, Python model. And we are going to have the package now, uh, name as a SRC the same one which is being mentioned in the InfiniTQ platform. Click on finish. Okay. So this is what we get. So this is a code we are going to work with. This code is being taken from a InfiniTQ platform. So this is a method name. Function name is find product. The moment you click on it, it also finds uh, wherever it also highlights uh, the same uh, function wherever it is it is present so the moment you take the cursor to this place it, it shows that it is a function definition found at where it is the location so src is the location in which solution is the file name so it shows src found at src solution and there is a method definition right so we have given a description for this so it also gives us provides different values for num1 num2 and num3 to, dis, uh, to test your program so this is what we have here the same thing is being shown there okay the moment you take the cursor to this place it shows function definitions so it takes three parameter num1 num2 num3 and multiply all the three and return the product so look at this so to run this program you'll have to click this there are several op opportunities you can options you can click on this otherwise you can go to run you'll have run Let's run this. So it will, yes, this is a program. Save and launch. So we got this is called as output uh, console. This is where we get the output. Whatever you see here, in the same way, it is replicated on an InfiniTQ platform. You see InfiniTQ, you can execute line by line and see the entire output. Mm, you can see the scope of the variable, all that you can uh, see it on an InfiniTQ platform. So InfiniTQ is so beautifully designed the uh, the experience you get using an I, through an id the same experience is, is provided on infinity quasit but it may not support many f f features but in id uh, eclipse id is like integrated development environment like eclipse it does a beautiful job you will you will definitely enjoy those